Next up, we've got the game between Wigan Athletic and West Ham United. Um, this was one of my bets of the week, Steve, earlier on, because I thought West Ham were a really good bet to get something from the game. Is that? Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Um, this is not. This doesn't scream at this game, does it? But I think you won't be great uh, to watch. Maybe that, will it? No, but I think I think what what you have certainly found is a way in to this game. Well, um, I think so. I just feel that West Ham are overpriced. We to, don't think they'll get lose beat, the game. Exactly. That's the one thing we don't think they'll get beat. Whether or not we're, we're not. 100% sure they're going to win this game, no. but we don't think they'll get beat. Because Wigan are going in, uh, Wigan are going into it on the back of three uh, defeats, three and uh, them, aren't they? they're they're struggling, aren't they? I mean, yeah. would you say their chances of winning this game are what really very small, slim? Um, you know, to go out there and beat a team like West Ham, well, you've well, got let's to offer put it this way: if they carry on the same vein, then they won't win the game of football. There'll have to be a dramatic change in Wigan mm. and the way that they um, they apply themselves, because the last three games they've. They've looked a million miles away. Mm. Uh, I suppose the question mark against West Ham would be whether they've got enough quality themselves to actually go ahead and win the game. It could be a draw. Um, is that a fair criticism yeah, of West Ham? Yeah, I think Ham West Ham so far have been uh, are difficult to play against. They're well mm. organised. They're very, very functional. They work extremely hard. Everyone knows their jobs, but it's that cutting edge really, isn't it? Yeah, that is the issue. Well, looking at the prices on the game, the bookies feel that uh, Wigan have got a better chance of winning the match uh, than West Ham. Uh, West Wigan, of course, are at home. Uh, so they have that advantage, but I don't think the prices are absolutely right. Wigan are thirteen to ten to win the match. West Ham are nine to four. Now that is a big difference. You can always it? lay Wigan as well. And you yeah, can at that price, you could yeah, lay them, couldn't yeah. you? Thirteen. You might to even 10. be able to go a little bit shorter and take some money off. Absolutely that right. It's, it's just it's the kind of price that you s you see on a, you know a, a good team at home to uh, you know a mid table team or something like that. You know, or when you have two teams who are evenly matched, thirteen to yeah. ten. Home advantage sometimes yeah. sways it, but I think yeah. the difference is too big here. So we've gone on West Ham on the Asian handicap. Now this is effectively giving you the safety net if they were to draw the match of getting your money back. So it's a bet on West Ham to win. If it's a draw, you don't lose anything. And the price is five to four. It was a lot bigger earlier in the week. It was something like uh, 14 to 10. Uh, so people are wised up to that, but that's our first bet uh, on the game. And the second bet is on under two goals uh, odds against is available at 29 uh, to 25. Now, when you see the number of low-scoring games involving these two teams, that's a good bet. You'll get your money back, we should say as well, if there are exactly two goals in the game. That's two decent bets. So yeah, both yeah. strong, aren't they? Yeah. And I think we've talked about some of the games where we're less sure, like the Blackburn Wolves game. Yeah. But on this game, we've got two bets that we're a little bit more confident about. Mm -hmm.